Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Skyrim. We are in a different place, as you could plainly see. If anybody could tell where we are just from this shot right here, I'd be very impressed if you could tell. Well, I did what I said I was going to do after the last episode. I took care of my inventory, got it down to 190. Uh, I didn't go through my books, though. I uh, should have done that. I just didn't really feel like taking the time to do it. So I'm carrying a bunch of books with me that I've already read. And I actually don't even know if I have any books with me that I haven't read yet. Uh, so we, we'll see what happens in this episode. Uh, I also said I was going to get a different follower. Because um, Arania or whatever her name was. She was not the most exciting follower in the world. So... Um, well, before I tell you who I'm who I'm traveling with, uh, I had a suggestion or a reminder that I go back to uh, where Serena's mom is and talk to her because I think she said, come back and talk to me after you've dealt with my husband. And we haven't done that yet. And if we were going to uh, go back and uh, pay a visit to Serena's mom, I would obviously want Serena to be with me. But hey, you mix portions. Right. Uh -huh. Can you brew me an ale? But I couldn't find Serana. Uh, when we left Serana, when we dismissed her, she said she was going back to, to uh, Dawnguard. So I went back to Dawnguard. Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Uh -huh. Oh, pfft, there, it says right there where they're from. <laughs> Iverstead, that's where we are. Um, anyway, um, so I went back to Dawnguard and I looked around and I couldn't find her. Uh, I went online. Where's Serana? And... It depends upon which path you took or which decision you made. She might be at Castle Volcahar if you sided with the vampires. Or she'll be at Fort Dongard. Otherwise, and other people are like, she'll tell you where she's going. Well, she told me she was going to Fort Dongard, and I didn't see her there. So I was like, the heck with it. And so now I'm traveling with somebody else that I met in uh, Fort Dongard, and it is Ingyard. We're going to travel with her for a little bit, see if she has anything more to say. Then Arania, or whatever her name was, had to say, uh, she... I got your back. Um... What do you want me to carry? She's got, uh, a torch that I gave her. I also gave her this exquisite elven bow and some arrows. And that's pretty much it. She was carrying this Dawnguard Warhammer. So we'll go ahead and let her use that. Although, now that I think about it... Did I keep this Dawnguard, this other Dawnguard Warhammer? No, I didn't. I must have put it somewhere. I had a Dawnguard Warhammer uh, that left like a rune when you used it, and I guess I decided not to keep it. Oh well. I am still wearing this uh, goofy hat Lead on. here, this thing, because I want to see it shoot some steam. Uh, it was pointed out in the comments that I did indeed miss its ability. It is right here, Breath of Enchuak draws upon stamina to release a scorching blast of steam that deals 15 points of damage per second. I'm not real sure how I'm going to use that. I guess. Um, I go in here and I would uh, choose it. And yeah, I do it just like if I was going to do a uh, shout. So, I don't know. I just wanted to see what it looks like. So, if I remember... And we come across an enemy, we'll use it. But anyway, why are we in Iverstead? Well, I looked at my list of quests here, and these two here are just, you know, Gunmar and Serene are just going to give us quests over and over and over again. I really don't see any reason to do these other than to get them off of my quest list, and I might do that. I might do these just to get them off of here, just to clean this up a little bit. We're not going to do them right now, though. And then I looked through here. This one, I don't know where to go. This one is kind of Solstheim related. This one is, uh, I think, part of the main main quest, I think, as is this one. This one here, um, I thought I found Mammoth Tusk Powder, but I didn't see it in my inventory, so maybe I don't. I didn't feel like messing with it. Uh, this one here is like, I feel like I'm a bad guy if I do that one. Same with this one. And then, so I made it down to here where I have agreed to help the Temple of Mara promote the cause of love throughout Skyrim. What could be more noble than that? So we've come here to Iverstead to talk to somebody named Fast Red. And that's what we're going to do. We're probably going to have to wake them up because it is the middle of the freaking night. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get a room for the night. 
And then we'll go talk to Fast Red in the morning, because you know we're going to go to Fast Red's house, and it's going to be locked. So let's just go ahead and uh, get a good night's sleep. Hey man, can I get a room? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Oh, thanks, man. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I just need it for the night. Can you show me where it is, please? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Why are you, why are you scowling at me? It looks like she's scowling at me. I'm going to put those pelts you gave me to good use. Oh yeah, she's the one who doesn't like bears. Anything else you need. All right, thanks, man. Ooh, this is a nice big room. Ingyar, you could uh, Ingyar, Ingyar, you could take that bed right there. It's weird that this one shows his owned. Does that mean some stranger could come in here and share this room with me? I think you should continue with your performances. Um, <sighs> could you? What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame if you would, stopped. Would you guys mind having All this conversation right, someplace then. else? I suppose it's the least I can do for it's you. A, it's, it's my bedtime. Actually, what time is it? It's oh, it's 5.40 a.m. All right, so we'll just sleep till, I don't know, 10, well, 9.41 a.m. We'll sleep till then, and then Fast Red should be up and about, and we can go talk to Fast Red, whoever that is. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my loop? Oh, sorry. Oh, that was rude. I just walked right past her. Yeah, we've heard her play her loop before. Oh, no, somebody help. What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? This one needs something. What did... The heck? Speak quickly. Speak quickly. Well, that's the first time I've seen that. Need something? <laughs> We're actually having a fist fight. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught like any skill? So I think this might be the first time we've been to Iverstead since I installed these new mods. And uh, gosh, it's so colorful. It's just a yes. beautiful place. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. <laughs> Get your own wood. Well, that was rude of me. You know, I could have gone into that sanctuary, killed all those Dark Brotherhood types, <laughs> but I was sick that day. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one before either. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. Oh, everybody's heard about me. Miss Temba is much happier now that you took care of those bears. She may not look like she is, but I can tell. Yeah, she doesn't look like she is. Hey, what's going on over here? This must be Fast Red, huh? Hey, Fast Red. Tell me about love. Are you the one sent by Mara? Yeah, 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 I am. Uh huh. I need you to pitch in a little more around here. Um, how how did you know I was coming? I know your I prayed to Mara, and she spoke to me now, in a dream. Roof, she said a stranger would appear to help more. me. Is that you? Yeah. What what's troubling you? Besides this person that's trying to have a conversation when I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Here, let's let's get over here in front of her. We right between them. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what's troubling you? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. But I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. Hmm. Uh, you sound a little confused or... Pff, you sound a little confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Now, the They're both so see. amazing. Okay. Well, we talked to Fast Red. Settle down to have children. Think twice before you do it. Dude, your wife is right yeah, there. Oh. She's our only child, Boaty. Am I to throw her to the wolves? You're hardly throwing her to the wolves. She just wants to see the world, just like I did when I was her age. And if she decides to leave Iverstead, what then? No. No, I can't bear the thought. <laughs> this looks awesome. Pilgrimer. So we got this quest here, the Book of Love, and yeah, we're just supposed to talk to her parents. Let's talk to them. If I were you, I'd move right through our backwards little town. My daughter's driving me crazy, so forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Well, she asked me to speak to you, dude. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. <laughs> Wouldn't stop talking about him. 
Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. But it will pass. Hmm. Well, why do you want her to stay so badly? Besides the obvious. Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Hmm. Okay. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. Okay. Boaty? not be here to stir up any trouble. Oh, just wait till I get started. Have you spoken you to must be another yet. pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Hey, your daughter asked me to speak to you, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Hmm. What would inspire them to leave? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Uh-huh. Okay. Talk to Bassianus or Klimic? Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Huh. Okay. So, talk to Bassianus or Klimic. So, I mean, her father did make an interesting point about how last week it was Klimic and this week it's Bassianus, you know. If you ever settle down to have children, think twice before you do it. So, I mean, is it really love or is it just like a little puppy love kind of thing? I don't know. But, you know, she says she's in love with Bassianus. Now, I'm not sure why we're supposed to talk to Klimic. She says, talk to Bassianus or Klimic. Who's this over here? This is Klimic. Hey, Klimic. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. I hear that you lost Fastred. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Hmm. Uh, she probably appreciates assertive men or looks like there's not much you can do. What am I doing here? Um, uh, maybe she appreciates assertive men? What did you call me? <laughs> I mean that you should be bold. Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Well, what do you have to lose, dude? Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. I have no idea what I'm doing. Why did I talk to him? I guess... I don't know. Guess I can't talk to Bassianus now. I talked to him. Okay, well this is the path we're going down. Oh, he's, she's in here. We need to go in here and hear this conversation. Fastred, I have something to say to you. Klimic? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Yeah. Oh, Clemic. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess. <laughs> Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. All right. Well. I I don't think it w I don't know. Maybe I missed something, but to me it wasn't made clear that I could either talk to Bassianus and we were probably going to talk to him about sneaking out in the middle of the night with with Fastrid. Um I did not realize that speaking with Klimic would mean that uh Fastrid stays. So, but I guess she's going to stay and as long as she's happy, that's fine. Her parents are happy. <laughs> I help. I do the chores. What else would My daughter's you driving me crazy. Huh. So forgive me if I'm a bit on it. Beyond this town, but for now, while you're under our roof, 
I need you to pitch in a little more. Yes, mother. It's a fine day with you around. Yep. I wish there must be another pilgrim you. on the way up to High Hrothgar. Okay. No well, here. I guess we're done here. Thought we'd get some closure there or something, like she would tell her parents and they would thank me or something. Sheesh. All right, return to Dinya Balu. Dinya Balu is going to be in Riften. So we'll do that. We'll do that. But I was thinking that uh, since we're here uh, near um, the throat of the world, we would go up here because I think <laughs> probably should have turned on the quest first. I think there's some snow we're supposed to get up here. Some snow that doesn't melt. So let's take a look at our quests. And um, it's part of this one. Retrieve the unmelting snow. Which should be right up here on you top of have it. Good it's lord. The, Kel, the Elder Scroll. Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Dude, you startled me. When he started talking, he was on, in my right speaker, and I, it was like somebody just started talking in my ear in the room. <laughs> it really startled me when he started talking. So, okay, there was a lot that was weird about that. I mean, there was no subtitles, which there normally is. There was no update at all to any quest. So what, I'm just supposed to remember what he just said? I have no... I have, I have no idea what he just said. Something about a time wound. Uh, so I guess that's the close the rapture thing. I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, this is it. Read the, t read the Elder Scroll at the time wound. Okay. Well, we're not... Sorry, buddy. We're not doing that right now. He said not to delay, but I'm going to delay anyway because that's how I roll. Uh, but what I'm trying to do now is get some of this unmelting snow since I'm in the neighborhood. Uh, take unmelting snowbank. Alright, well, we retrieved the unmelting snow, and I need some mammoth tusk powder, which I thought I'd already gotten. Um, but when I look in here, the only mammoth thing I have is a mammoth tusk. I don't have the powder. So I don't know if I need to turn it into powder. For some reason, I thought I found the powder at some point. Maybe I accidentally sold it or stored it somewhere. I don't know, but we'll have to do that again at some point. So anyway, uh, I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I would go ahead and do that. So, there we go. That's done. Now we can go back to... The Book of Love. And what the heck? We'll go back to Riften. It's been a long time since we've been to Riften, it feels like. Right? Doesn't it feel like it's been a long time? Let's go back to Riften, and we'll talk to Dinya or whatever her name is. Let her know that we spoke with Fastred about love. So where are we to go? Rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrowind. Well, she's in here. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the uh, temple. Okay, this is right. Blessings of Mara upon you. Oh, thanks, dude. Good afternoon. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Thanks. What is it you seek, my child? So I help those young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful! Like the sea, their love roils and swells but brings life and nourishment to all. That's it? Does Mara require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. Mm -hmm. As you venture, 
Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Hmm. Well, I remember the name Calselmo. I don't remember anything else, but I do remember the name. So, this is it. Same thing, I've agreed to help the Temple of Mara promote the cause of love throughout Skyrim. We're supposed to go talk to Calselmo. We need to get out of Riften before we could do that. Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. How may I help you, So Ingyard hasn't had much to say yet, but we just started traveling with her. We'll give her a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and just zip on over to Markarth. And um, we'll have a little discussion with Cal Selmo. So he, he must be in love with somebody, but he... Has, isn't able to express himself for whatever reason and we're gonna help him with that maybe I don't know but uh, let's just follow the marker on our compass here and we'll see if we can't find Calselmo in Markarth I mean I like that Markarth is very different from the other cities but it's not my favorite So he's an Understone Keep. Calselmo. The name's... Like I said, I remember the name. It just sounds so familiar. I wonder if when I see him, I'll remember anything. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. Guard duty. Uh, is it... Yes, okay. I kind of remember this place. Yeah. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Oh, wait till I help you some more, Cal Selmo. I have things to study. What is it? Well, um, I have been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Huh, I don't think I do know Feline. I don't remember that name. Well, suffice to say she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Well, uh, you just need to have something to talk about, or you're probably overthinking this. Uh, you're probably overthinking it, dude. That may be the case, but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. <laughs> well, is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type. <laughs> but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. <sighs> what? <laughs> Why do I have to do this? Why don't you go ask him? Gee whiz, these people can't do anything. I'm Calselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. The artifacts I've discovered in Nishuanzel will make history one day. Alright, come on. Come on, Ingyard. Another silent follower, apparently. Alright, let's go talk to Ingvard, or whatever the name is, and... <sighs> Do Cal Selmo's work. All in the name of love. Got to spread the love. What business do college majors have in a place like Sorthorn anyway? Okay, what's this place? This place is the Treasury House, which is locked. Huzzah! It's 12.52 a.m. Wonderful. That's great. Can I knock on the door? Do you think he'll answer the door if I knock on it? <gasps> what? That wasn't supposed to happen. I thought I was supposed to knock. 
Oh crap, I'm gonna get in trouble? Oh, Ingvard, where are you? Holy cow, this is still here from last time I was here? That was a long time ago. Wow. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to mess your place up. Dude. Dude, psst, psst, wake up. Blood and silver, friend. Blood and silver. Hey, um, I know this is kind of weird waking you up at one o'clock in the morning, but I heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Uh, it's not for me, dude. It's for Calcemo. Calcemo? Is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. <laughs> Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like... I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my <laughs> golden words? Boy, am I. Yeah, man. Give it to me. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. Cool, thanks, man. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. What? I take it to Feline? I'm not trying to make her fall in love with me, dude. Deliver poem. Poof. That's it. Deliver poem. Well, can I read the thing? I want to read it. Doggone it. I didn't see what it was called. Let's see. Poem. Love poem. You ready? You ready for this? A missive from Calsalmo to Feline. My lover's heart is numbing stone that hides in ice beneath our sight. So some decry it is not there while others whisper, yet it might. Though stone is born from fevered ash, once formed it yields no whiff of heat. So too her heart betrays no love nor comforts those embracing it. As mountains grow and yearn for sky, then climbers conquering ascend. With chisel, rope, and axe, and pick, they force the rock to yield to them. One peak stands proud amidst the range, invincible and scaled by none. Those men who try to wash down her slopes, their eye-born streams obliquely run. For a brash assault could never pierce those guarded depths that lay apart. But patient water gently shapes a furtive channel to the heart. My love is delving water, ice that cracks with cycles of the sun. A yapping, yapping? <laughs> a lapping, yearning, whispered plea will mark the time till I rush in. For I have dwelt among the rocks, my city carved from rugged stone. So in that burrow I will sleep and warm the soul which makes my home. Um, meh. I did not care for that. That did not speak to me, but uh, the poem is not for me. So, uh, that really doesn't matter. So, inexplicably, we are going to deliver this poem to Feline. And, um, say it's from Caselmo. Is she also in the under whatever? I guess she is. Understone Keep. All right, Feline, where are you? I don't know where she is. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. She also asleep. Yeah, so, looks like it. Could cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh man, it's locked. Oh, I have the key to Markarth Keep. I could just come on in. Hey, uh, Feline? Feline, wake up. As his housecarl, Igman's security is my chief concern. 
huh, I have a poem I'd like you to read, or I want to talk to you about Calselmo. Um, gee whiz, man. Do I just give her this poem? Calselmo hasn't even read it yet. I kind of wish I would have gone back to Calselmo first instead. Um, I'll just give her the poem. Pardon me? It's from Calselmo, please. I'm not sure what this is all about. Just read it. This is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had <laughs> You're going to be so disappointed, Feline. <laughs> he cares about you so much. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Don't worry, you are. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Well, just go talk. Just, just go talk to him. Oh my gosh. Feline's letter. Of course, we're going to read it because nothing's private when we're involved. My dearest Cal Salmo, I always knew you to possess a great mind, but your charming poem revealed a depth of feeling I never suspected. I'll admit to being a bit surprised at the direction of your feelings, but not unpleasantly so. Let us meet to discuss further yours, Feline. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make a love connection! What are, you doing that for? what are you doing that for? Let's see. Let's go back over here. That's so cool looking. Um. I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do? Where is this guy? Oh crap. Um. Where was this? I'm trying to remember how to get to where he was. This way, yeah, this way, okay. We're good, it's good. We're gonna find him. Don't you worry. I have things to study, what is it? Jeez, dude, I have a letter from Feline. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please, excuse me. Okay. Go. Go to her. What? Oh, goodbye. Go to her now. The artifacts I've discovered in the Shuanzel will make history one day. Yes, yes, I have a lot of research to do. Well, the marker's still over top of him, so I'm gonna follow him. I'm not gonna miss this. <laughs> he's... <laughs> oh, oh, he's running. He's so excited. It's a good thing I unlocked the door for him. What would happen if that door was still locked? He'd probably just go on in. Oh, she's up. Pauline, I... Shh. It's alright. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so... nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. <laughs> I've only ever lost a few guards to steam centurions. Good odds, considering. <laughs> Come here, you. And he leaves. <laughs> You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Yeah, things that are none of my business. Staying out of trouble, kinsman? I have things to study. What is it? Okay, well, I guess we're done with that. <sighs> Spreading love, it's what we do. Return to Dinya, Balu. I wonder if I, like, took a swing at this thing, if it would come alive. Ah! Nope. I just wanted to see. Gotta try some things sometimes, you know. Well, now we need to go back to um, Riften, right? To to return to Dinya Blue. Why is this not showing up on my map? What's going on? 
Hello? She's in... Frickin' Riften, I know that. Alright, fine, I'll do it manually. I can find Riften, here we go. Alright, let's go back to Riften. Talk to Dinya again. I'm sure she's gonna send us someplace else to spread the love. So far, we haven't had to fight anything in this there episode. In the rat way, but reports are Look how cool that looks. The lighting is really nice, huh? It's really well done, the nice green trees. Yeah, I like it. Hmm? Sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Mm -hmm. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the fish got the down in the racket for that. Okay, we're back. Of Mara upon you. Thanks. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Well, I helped the forlorn lovers of Markarth. I really don't see that relationship lasting, but I did it. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Mm. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Okay, I need to put on the amulet of Mara. May you carry the warmth of Mara to all corners of the frozen wastes. I really don't want to put on this amulet. Because I like what I'm wearing already. Uh, this allows restoration spells to cost 10% less to cast. I really don't cast at restoration spells, but we're going to put it on. Talk to the long dead lover. All right, let's go talk to the long dead lover. So where is the long dead lover? Let's take a look at on the map. Look at it on the map here. Come on, game, show me where it is. Here, we'll switch to this one instead. Okay, that one's not going to do it either. Okay, for reasons unknown, this is not working. Um, so we'll just have to look here on the map and let's see where is the marker. Anybody see the marker? That's over here. We need to go here. Ooh, interesting. To what? Gyukar's monument. Let's go. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to recognize this place once we get here. Maybe we'll get to fight something and I'll get to try out this this helmet I'm wearing. Oh, 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 oh. Dragon. Look how cool this looks. I do remember this place. We cannot let this dragon live. We cannot. Hey, get your butt down here, buddy. Get down here. Come here. Something walking around over here. It might be a giant. It is a giant. How cool. Hey, dragon, come here. Come here, you. Wow, this place looks so cool. Oh, okay. The off he goes over the horizon. That's fine. I was going to kick your butt anyway, pal. Better be glad you ran. Oh, there's a ghost over here. Hey. Unfortunately, you can't see the amulet around my neck because of my super cool armor. Rookie. Hey, Rookie. What, what are you doing? marching with you cause men who they say were wiped out here I've turned over everybody though and I can't find him please help me look he has a bright red beard and hair 
Okay. Um, the last battle here was hundreds of years ago, you know. Are you a fool? <laughs> Look at the bodies around you. Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Um. Come, help me search for Fenrir. Okay. He uh. must be here somewhere. All right. Okay, hold your horses. Let's look for Fenrig. Still no new text here. Find Fenrig. Come, help me search for Fenrig. All right. He must be here somewhere. Well, luckily, I have this really cool ability that tells me where things are in this world. The marker's over here. What the? Way over here? All right. Is that you humming, Inyard? That's the most interesting thing you've done since you followed me. I need a way over here to find Fenrig. Is the ghost coming with us? Doesn't look like it, does it? All right, let's find Fenrig. <laughs> I really like running across this lush field. Glad it's daytime so that we could enjoy it. It's 5.04 p.m. We're no, probably not going to have much s sunlight left. Dragonway over there. Oh, dragon way over here. Oh, right here, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. Well, okay. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, okay. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I missed him. Well, In Ingyard has things to say. That's cool. She's shooting her crossbow. Oh, he didn't like that. No, don't, don't shoot me. Oh, I need uh, more magicka? That's okay. We've got plenty. My wrath man over there. Chopping at the dragon's face. Oh, did I hit him or not? I think I missed him. Okay, watch this. There, I just shot steam at him. Didn't seem to do any damage to him at all, did it? But I just shot steam out of my hat. I did, man. I hope you saw it. That was terrible. Come back here. I'm not done with you. I want your soul. He's cool looking with that red face. Huh. Boy, he's taking a long time. Come on, dude. Fight this dragon. Ooh, blood dragons frying Dernavir. <laughs> Dernavir, are you going to take that? Are you going to let him do that, Dernavir? I don't want to kill this dragon. I want Dernavir to fight him. Dernavir, fight him. Dude. Come on, what are you doing? You're kind of useless, Dernavir. It's kind of like fly around and look cool. Oh, 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 oh. oh we getting a little dragon on dragon action right now? Oh, oh. Come on, do it again, Dernavir. Come on, man. Good grief, old man. He can, like, puff out one little tiny cloud. And down he goes. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to see two dragons flying around. <laughs> uh, steel bolts and some gold. Take that. Thank you very much. Well, at least she had some things to say in the middle of the battle. 
Hey, uh, check this out, Ingard. You ever seen this before, have you? Huh? Man, I think it'd be really cool if the follower were, like, freaked out the first time they saw that happen. They're like, what was that? That was so cool. Alright, where the heck is Fenric? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Ran right into that moose. Fenric? How far do I have to go to get to Fenric? <laughs> Still a ways. There he is. Is this a person walking over here? Where'd they go? Right here. An Anori Anoriath? Do you hunt? The plains outside Whiterun are ripe with game. Oh yeah? Shh. I'll scare the deer. Oh my bad, dude, sorry. <gasps> oh, you startled me. I wasn't expecting come. Huh? Huh? Fenric. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, what? Is this Dernavir? Is he still here? <laughs> it is. Help me fight a wolf. Thanks, Dernavir. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Hey, man. Fenric. Your uh, wife is looking for you. At least I think she was your wife. Rookie. Where is she? West, in the plains, over the mountain. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Um, why don't you like camping here? Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. City ducks. Huh, well, let me take you to Rookie. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. All right, bro. Bring Fenrig to Rookie. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Uh, I, I, I guess we put him in our pocket. He's in our pocket now, so we're going to run back to Rookie. We got to get there before sunrise, though. Ingrid, take care of that, or Ingyard, take care of that wolf for me, will ya? I got, I got important work to do here. Ooh, it's one of those things that summons dragons. Spawns dragons. It is so dark. Let's go for a swim. I'm very excited to get back to Rookie. Reunite these two. Oh man. Ow. Ow. I want to see her glowing from off in the distance. Stupid rocks. Uh-oh. I got work to do. I can't be bothered. There she is. You can see her glowing. <laughs>
Oh. Well, that was nice. Whoa. <laughs> right, that was interesting. <laughs> Okay, we'll return to Dinya in the next episode. I need to end this one here. Uh, no book this episode. Like I said, I don't know which books I'm carrying are uh, unread or not. So we'll try to straighten that out in the future episode. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode. If you have any ideas where maybe I could find Serana so that I could take her back to her mother, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I guess I'll talk to you in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.